And getting to this point here on Distribution Day takes months of effort, lots of volunteer efforts. This is a year-round event. News Six's Ezie Castro joins me now. And Ezie, you have been following the progress of the Angel Tree all year. I mean, we walked through today and we're joking like, oh, didn't we just do this? But, I mean, this doesn't just happen. Exactly. I mean, it, you can see that there's obviously <laughs> a crowd of volunteers here already. And this actually begins way before people think. I mean, this they start planning in the summer. And so we just kind of gather everything within the last couple of months, get it all together, Salvation Army does rather, and we join in for the fun. And obviously this is the story where we kind of put the pieces together and this is how it all comes about. The plans for the Salvation Army's Angel Tree program begin way before the holiday season. In fact, volunteers with the nonprofit start looking for corporate sponsors to help adopt angels first. Then the applications go out to families in need. Labor Day weekend, they actually pick up an appointment letter and um, that way when they come to apply for Angel Tree in October, that they only have to wait one hour. Within one hour, we can have everything processed instead of having to wait in a long line. That's when News 6 steps in to help get results. In November, we joined the Salvation Army for the annual Angel Tree kickoff day. Many picking up their Angel Tree tags at different locations across Orlando, like Mall at Millennia. Over 4,000 angels were adopted this year, thanks to the community. They're getting bikes. Um, we have some PS4s that were donated this year, um, some hoverboards, um, electric scooters. So very exciting things. A couple American Girl dolls. The donations didn't stop there. Earlier this month, New Six and the Salvation Army teamed up for an Angel Tree phone bank on Giving Tuesday. At the end, we raised $32,640. Those funds were used to buy gifts for the angels who weren't adopted so that no child is left behind for Christmas. Even after Christmas, we have people that are on our waiting list, people that are still in need, and so we're going to try to help as many people as we can. And the first year that we came in here, I know we were all blown away by the organization. The yes. system set up there, squares on the floor, and each angel corresponds to a square. Correct. And you said a lot of volunteers every single day make that happen. Yeah, so I mean, being here for the last couple of days, we learned they have about 75 volunteers come in each day to make sure that everything is perfect and ready to go. We're talking about the names of the children, we're talking about their ages, you know, whether or not the toy is the right toy. I mean, everything needs Needs to be on point for this day so that these families are not here for hours of course you know they're just here they pick it up you know they smile and they can leave and go back home so I mean it's a lot 